Hey guys, I'm Alina with Awaken Catholic, and this is Awaken the Saint. Today we celebrate the feast day of St. Teresa of the Andes. Born to a wealthy family, St. Teresa is noted to have been a rather unpleasant child. It's said she was vain, competitive, stubborn, and selfish. Yikes! Luckily, she had her family to help her through her natural flaws. She and her older brother made a promise to pray the rosary every day for the rest of their lives, which she upheld. Over the years, she grew a beautiful relationship with Mary because of it. Even more miraculous, the year before she was to receive her first Holy Communion, St. Teresa wanted to truly purify herself to be a worthy vessel for Christ. That entire year, she practiced virtue and grew in holiness so much so that her family was astounded at the changes they saw in the little girl. When she finally got to receive the Eucharist for the first time, she actually heard the voice of Jesus. St. Teresa wasn't without hardship, though. It would seem that she had plenty of intestinal and appendix issues. Sounds fun. But she suffered well and was always smiling and patient with those around her. I don't know about you, but if my stomach hurts, it makes smiling pretty difficult. Time to up my suffering game. In May 1919, Teresa became a Carmelite nun. The short time she was there, she thrived, saying, I am the happiest person on earth. I desire nothing more because my entire being has been seized by God, who is love. It would seem the Lord wanted her nearer to him sooner than later because just a short year after, God revealed to her she would die soon. A month after this revelation, she contracted typhus and passed into the arms of Christ and her beloved mother Mary. Her relationship with Jesus and Mary was remarkable, and the peace and joy expressed in her writings is something I personally find alluring. We're surrounded with messages from the culture that we can find true happiness in financial security, nicer things, love, the next high, acceptance, what have you. Even good things are a weak replacement for the peace St. Teresa found at such a young age. True contentment is found outside of our circumstances. This young saint discovered that the love of Jesus and Mary was where fulfillment could be found. I'll leave you with a beautiful quote of St. Teresa's. Yes, Mary, you are mother of the entire universe. The rich as well as the poor can find in your heart their heaven. The afflicted as well as the happy can find on your mouth a celestial smile. The sick as well as the healthy can find caresses from your sweet hands. And finally, sinners like myself find in you a protecting mother who can crush beneath her immaculate feet the head of the dragon. And in your eyes, I see mercy, pardon, and a shining lamp to keep me from falling into the muddy waters of sin. St. Teresa of the Andes, ora pro nobis. Thank you for tuning in to Awaken the Saint.